guys it's Daiji here welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel so as you guys can see by the title we're going to be doing a aura editorial makeup tutorial or like an aura sunset makeup tutorial so I don't know if you guys know but there's like this or I don't know if it's still a trend but there was this trend going around for like aura nails I'll put a picture right here and I also looked on Pinterest to see if there was like aura makeup look because I haven't seen it before um like I looked it up on Pinterest but there is some aura makeup look so today I just wanted to like do that because I really like the way that it looks and also when I see the nails I was like this would just be so cute as like a makeup look and like yeah it's very editorial and I feel like it's been a while since I did like an editorial type look I'm using the word editorial very loosely because you know it's still kind of like regular makeup so it's not super super editorial but it is kind of but anyways if you guys want to see my aura sunset makeup tutorial then just keep on watching okay so I went on Pinterest and like Google and looked up aura like colors and personalities and I'm just gonna go through them with you guys so it says red is passion physicality strength determination groundedness orange is excitement vitality thrill seeking leadership confidence yellow is optimism laughter freedom inspiration creativity i think i'm very yellow like not only is yellow my favorite color i just feel like my aura is yellow so i'm definitely gonna add some yellow in there um green is healing generosity service responsibility love of nature blue is communication self-expression depth intuition clarity indigo is wisdom insight sensitivity spirit spirituality deep inner knowing and purple is higher consciousness visionary qualities and spiritual awareness so i think i want to do yellow um for sure because i just feel like that's my kind of aura color my sister said it's giving burnt like yellow like that's kind of what it is so i think i'm gonna do yellow and orange which is like excitement vitality thrill seeking leadership and confidence which that's not really me but that's all things that i want to be so i think it's gonna give like sunsetty vibes so yeah let me know what you guys' aura color is down below also let me know what you guys think like what kind of vibe and aura i give off i know it's kind of hard when you don't know the person in person but just through videos and stuff let me know what you guys think my aura color is so let's just get started so yeah, i'm gonna use this rimmel i'm gonna use this rimmel multitasker concealer in the shade tan Okay, so I think what I want to do, I kind of want to create a shape on my eye and then do the aura within that shape. So, like, let me show you guys. Like, for instance, this is kind of, like, this is my inspiration picture that I'm kind of, like, going off of. I'm going to take the Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade 20. And I'm going to take a flat brush and just fill that in okay so first things first is I'm gonna take the NYX modern dreamer palette and I'm gonna take the yellow from that palette and I'm gonna take that on this Juvia's Place fluffy brush this is the I live I love like brush set they don't have numbers on them but I'm just gonna take this fluffy brush and I'm just gonna pat it and also go in circular motions on you see like the outer part right here and I'm also gonna do it in the inner part Okay, now I'm going to take the Makeup Revolution Alexis Stone Palette. If they still have this palette, please get your hands on it because it is a really nice, colorful palette. I feel like it has a nice gradient of all the colors, and I just feel like I can't do a colorful look without pulling out this palette. I'm going to take that Modern Dreamer Palette again, and I'm going to take the white from the palette. And I'm just going to set that concealer in the middle. And now I'm going to take this Real Techniques small blending brush and I'm going to take the orange that's next to the yellow 
in the NYX palette. I'm just going to blend it in the middle of that yellow. Okay, and now on an M, I mean, I'm sorry, now on an E36 brush, I'm going to take the first red from that Makeup Revolution palette and put that right in the middle. Kind of has like a pinkish undertone, but that's okay. I'm also going to take the last shade in the first row of the NYX palette, which is like a deep red. I'm going to put a little bit of that yellow on in the middle of the crease with that fluffy brush just to bring some color into it. Okay, now what I want to do is I'm going to take the second, no, the first shade in the second row of the NYX palette, which is like a shimmer gold, and I'm just going to put that on my lid. But first I'm going to spray a flat brush with some setting spray. You know what, if you want a gold shimmer, Fenty Beauty is always the one to go with. So the last thing that I think I want to do is I'm just going to take this flat, like, kind of fluffy angled brush. I'm going to take that deep red, and I think I'm going to go... So I'm gonna go off camera and do my other eye and then I'll come back with you guys to do like the under eye and I might add some crystals is that too extra I feel like I've been adding like crystal gems like in every look but I'm gonna go off camera and do my other eye and then I'll come back with you guys in a second alrighty so I went off camera and did my other eye and my foundation and all that good stuff so now we're gonna do my under eye um so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this flat angled brush and first I'm gonna take the yellow then on that same brush I'm just gonna take the orange on the like on the outer and inner part and then on a smaller flat brush I'm gonna take that burgundy and just put it on the inner and outer part as well basically the same thing that we did at the top now I think I'm gonna put one little red gem inside like the circles because you know I, I can't I just can't help myself I just I can't <laughs> cute okay so now that i have that i'm just gonna very lightly line my lash line just to blend my lashes with like my full lashes with my real lashes i always do this just because if you just see like you'll you can see a big difference so like you can see for instance you can see the lash line in between the lashes and your regular lashes it's better if it's black than if it's like the color of the eyeshadow if, you, if that makes sense perfect Okay, so now I'm going to just do my lashes off camera, and then I'll come back with you guys with the finished look. I think for the lips, I always literally say this when I do an extravagant eye, I like to just do like a nude lip, like maybe just some lip liner and some gloss. So yeah, I'll come back with you guys with the finished look in a second. Okay guys, so I went off camera and put on a lash and just lined my lips with the Julius Place Lip Liner in the shade Cola. And this is the finished look. I love it so, so much. I feel like it just really encompasses my aura. And I'm really happy with the colors that I chose because I just feel like they're very me. Um, and I think this would be a really fun makeup look for you to do with your aura color. Um, there's a lot of things online that help you pick out like your aura color. And also like you can ask the people around you what they feel like it is. But really it's like an inside like thing what you feel and like what you see when you like look at yourself and what like kind of like vibrations you give off I could be completely wrong but that's just my interpretation of it but anyways yeah this is the finished look I love it so so much let me know what you guys think of it down below thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it please give it a 
thumbs up and subscribe and turn on my post notifications to be notified every time that i upload i am trying to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of the year i know that is a very very big goal but if you like me if you like my channel then please subscribe and join the family and help me reach my goal and yeah if you want to keep up with me when i'm not posting on youtube you can follow me on all my other social medias all that good stuff will be on the screen right here it will also be in the description box down below for you guys please watch another one of my videos my last video will also be linked down below and there's also some pretty good ones i mean i may be a little bit biased but if you like makeup if you like me if you just want to support then i think honestly that you will like the videos yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i hope i will see you guys in my next video thank you guys so much for watching and love you bye